Evaluate 1x when x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 1. So let's do the scenario x is equal to negative 1. Then 1x becomes 1 times x, which is now negative 1. So it's 1 times 1 times negative 1. Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. 1 times anything is going to be that anything. So 1 times negative 1 is going to be equal to is going to be equal to negative 1. Another way you could have thought about it is you could have just looked at the absolute value of both numbers. You'd say 1 times 1 is 1. They have different signs, so it's going to be negative. Would have gotten you the same answer either way. Now we have the scenario where x is equal to 0. So 1 times x is going to be the same thing as 1 times 0. We've substituted a 0 for x. Once again, 1 times anything is going to become that anything. So this is going to become 0. Another way to think about it is 0 times anything is going to become 0. So either one of those ways of thinking about it would have gotten you this answer. 1 times, actually, we could even write 1 times x. 1 times x is equal to x. So really, when you evaluate any of these at x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to 0, or x equals 1, it's really just going to equal that number. Because 1 times anything is equal to that anything right over there. 0, just to make it clear, 0 times anything is equal to, and this x here is a variable, not a multiplication sign, 0 times anything is equal to 0. Just for good measure, we kind of already went over the answer, but let's try x is equal to 1. So this will give us 1 times 1, which you probably learned a while ago. But 1 times anything is equal to that number, so it's equal to 1.